had a friend who was a cook, and the cook loved food. This was his life. The cook used to invite Mevlana for dinners very often, back in Cunha. And when Ramadan came, every year, the cook, the cook was sad and happy at the same time. On one hand, he had a big break during the day. He didn't have to cook morning. He didn't have to cook for the middle of the day. He would only cook for Iftir. At the same time, the cook was sad because he missed he missed food. He loved eating all day. And now he had to wait all day, waiting, even preparing the food for the dinner and not being able to even taste. Oh, this was a torture for him. He hated it. And one day, Mevlana took the cook for a walk. And they went by the forest. They went by the creek outside of Konya. And the cook told Novlana about his dilemma. He both love and despise the month of Ramadan, the fasting. And Mevlana looked at the cook and told him, Do you know the lute, the oud? The oud has a belly, but the belly of the oud is always empty. And that is why the oud can produce all those sounds and all those songs and melodies. It is because the belly of the oud is empty. If you were to stuff the oud with food or with anything, there would be no sound coming out of the oud. Do you know the ney read flute? The ney is always empty. If it wouldn't be empty, no sound would come out of the reed flute. It must be empty. If you were to stuff it with food or with anything, it wouldn't sing. It wouldn't cry. It wouldn't express longing. It wouldn't express devotion or praise or any emotions through the music. Aren't we, said Mevlana, aren't we all just an instrument, just like the wood, just like the reed flute? We are just instruments. We are here to sing the song of life. We are here to song, sing praise. We are here to sing the longing song. We are here to sing about pain and suffering. We are here to sing about inspiration and elevation and higher virtues. And we have to be empty. Emptiness is a virtue, my friend. And in Ramadan, it's a great time to practice emptiness with an empty stomach all day. Practice emptiness. It's a great opportunity one full month and only in the evening after the sun set enjoy the food fill yourself up and then another day of Ramadan another opportunity my friend another opportunity to become a good instrument an instrument that has holes and has emptiness in it because the emptiness my friend will bring good habits 
Yes, good habits that will stay with you for the whole year. You will see patience, self-discipline, gratitude, grace and gratitude, the power of the mind. All these you can cultivate during the month of Ramadan, my friend. It is a gift. Be an instrument for a month. Then you're going to be able to sing the song of longing. You're going to be able to pray. And you're going to be able to think great ideas. You will see. Great ideas will come out of emptiness. So, enjoy my friend. One month of emptiness. And the fruits that will follow. Thank you.